Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create backing vocals with Melodyne Essentials Single Track. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is take a pre existing vocal take, like I have right here, and use it to create artificial uh, harmony, uh, artificial backing vocals, uh, so that we don't have to have the singer actually sing the harmonies. We're going to use this vocal take to uh, create those harmonies. So the upside to this is we get those nice lush pop uh, backing vocals that are very common in today's music. Uh, the downside as well, it takes a little bit of extra work and you've got to have some music theory knowledge. All right, to start, uh, I've already set my tempo and my time signature to match that of the uh, vocal take. You don't have to do that, but it helps. Uh, let's drag this in, put it right on measure one, and it's going to analyze this and analyze all the pitches and break it up. So let's listen to what the original track sounds like. Take my disgrace away, take every living day, take all you vast for, take my life and all you've done. All right, so those parts where he's saying, uh, and all you've done, and all you've lived for, and all you've taken away, those parts I'm not going to harmonize. I'm going to leave them as is. So I'm just going to drag over them and uh, hit backspace to delete them. Um, the beginning part I'm, gonna, I'm going to, and this end part where it says your mind games, I'm going to uh, harmonize those as well. Now, the next thing we need to do is uh, determine the best course of action as far as uh, how we're going to harmonize this. Um, in general, if you're dealing with a minor key, you want to harm, uh, start your harmonization at a minor third above or a major sixth below uh, or a perfect fourth or a perfect fifth or an octave. If we're de dealing with a, a major key, we are going to start our harmony at a major third above and a minor sixth below or a perfect fifth, a perfect fourth or an octave. Uh, this particular song is in the key of E flat minor, and I'm going to try to harmonize this a or starting at a minor third above, which is three semitones or three half steps. So I need to drag all these notes up three half steps. But this is where it can get complicated. Uh, if you don't understand music theory or scales, you can't actually do it all in minor thirds. You actually have to use a combination of both. So I'm just going to select all and then drag this up three semitones. Ten. All right, in order for this harmony to actually fit within the key, I need to go through all of the notes and find any, any notes that don't fit within the key of uh, E flat minor. So some of these minor thirds actually will be transformed into major thirds. Now, uh, I can see that all of these A's are not actually in the key of E flat because there's no A in the key of E flat. So uh, we can just select them all and then move them up a half step to their closest note, which is B flat. And that's uh, well within the key of... Uh, uh, e flat minor and also we have a D here that doesn't fit in the key of E flat natural minor so we're gonna pull this uh, D up to E flat to fit within the key and uh, looks like yep the B flat over here is also ch or the A over here is also changed to a B flat so at the tail end uh, your mind games should be all right and let's listen and uh, let's see what this sounds like Take my disgrace away, take every living day, take all you vast for, take my life. Yeah, that B there is probably not going to sit very well with the lead vocal, so let's pull that up to uh, D flat, that's in the key of E flat minor. For take my life. Yeah, that's going to fit much better, so let's uh, also try out the Your Mind games. Your Mind games all right that sounds all right as well uh the last thing we need to do is we need to export this or save this as and you can't see the menu up there because it's outside the view of the software but you just go up to file save as and then we're going to save this whole thing as a wave file a separate wave file uh, from the lead vocal and then uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut over to logic real quick and i'm going to put all this together there <laughs> 